Hello friends! In this video I'm going to be reviewing these Zig Clean Color Real Brush Pens. And these are a brush pen or a brush marker that have real bristles, so they're not like a felt-tipped pen like many of the other ones. And I believe they are kind of intended to be used like watercolor, or but some people like to use this type of a brush pen for hand lettering. And if you have been around here for a while, you know that these aren't always my favorite to use for hand lettering. And I think part of that is because I just have a kind of a heavy hand. So I like to push really hard on my downstrokes and then get lighter on my upstrokes. But with these, if you push really hard on your downstrokes, they may just fan out on you. And it can be kind of hard to get that really even look as you go down on your brush strokes because the brush tip can tend to kind of move a little bit. But there are a lot of pros to this brush marker, so it's definitely not a bad option. I just tend to grab a different type of a brush pen first. However, these come in some beautiful colors. And one of the things that I love about this type of a marker is that you can use it on watercolor paper without worrying that you're going to ruin your brush pen because it has bristles. One thing that I did want to point out about this product is that you can achieve a different look depending on how fast you go. So I will leave this clip in real time and you can see the difference between going fast and going slow. When you go slowly, you tend to get a more even color and when you go quicker, you tend to get that streaky brush look and neither are wrong. They're just kind of a stylistic thing. So you can achieve those differently depending on what type of a look that you're going for. These are also really nice for blending together. They can blend really nicely and I am using a piece of watercolor paper to show you this. And like I said, I might not use watercolor paper for other brush pens that I have, but with these, I'm not too worried about the tip, so that is definitely a plus. I also wanted to experiment with adding a little bit of water to this. This isn't something I've done a lot, but I just wanted to see if it changed the feel of the marker because sometimes these can feel a little bit dry if you're used to a more juicy brush pen. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch these out for you. There are some beautiful colors in here. I don't think I have them all because I did a giveaway on Instagram and I think I sent a couple of these out to people, but I will leave a link in the description box below where you can see all of them. And again, they just have some really pretty colors and I think there's probably a lot of potential for really beautiful blending if you like to use them for things other than hand lettering. Let me know in the comments below if you would like me to do some more experimenting with these and show you some different techniques or let me know if you'd just like to use them for hand lettering. So I hope that this was helpful for you. If you are interested in learning more about hand lettering, I have a free seven day mini course that you can join at howtohandletter.com slash mini course, or I'll leave a link in the description box below for that if you would like to sign up for that mini course. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one.